To me, there are two things whose proper management is of absolute importance. The first one is time, because we have too little of it. And the second one, on the contrary, is knowledge, because we have too much of it around us. And while time management is pretty much at everyone's throats already, we have all sorts of calendars, planners, schedules, time blocks, notion dashboards and to-do lists, the situation with knowledge management is a bit more subtle. Think about it. Information is one of the most valuable resources we have. The amount of it we consume on a daily basis is higher than ever before. Yet the majority of people don't have any systematic way to go about taking care of this mess. Instead, we passively read books and articles, watch lectures and occasional courses, hoping that somehow information would magically stick. Even the notes we used to take during the college days are not as useful as expected, especially considering that they end up in abandoned notebooks that collect dust once we got the final test. In this video, I'd like to explore one possible solution of such a system that allows you not only to properly store information you care about, but also put it into effective use. My name is Artem, I'm a computational neuroscience student and researcher. On this channel we explore mental and digital tools to help us study and learn more effectively. Today I'll talk about Zettelkasten, a note-taking system that has been surging in popularity in recent years. On the internet you can find countless step-by-step -step guides on how to create such a system yourself like what software to use, what are the templates, etc. But what I think is more important is to understand why such a system works, what principles underlie the Zettelkasten in the first place. Once you truly understand why it works, you are able to introduce the same type of principles into your existing workflows or perhaps even build entire new systems from scratch that will be more suited particularly to you. Because Zettelkasten is by far not the perfect solution such one doesn't exist, but it's a really great source of inspiration on how to improve your workflow. If you are already familiar with what Zillcaston's system looks like, you can skip to this timecode right here. And for all of the rest, our journey starts in 20th century Germany. Nicholas Luhmann is one of the most influential social scientists of 20th century. Over his lifetime, Luhmann was able to write about 60 books and more than a hundred of articles on sociology and systems theory. According to his own words, such an outstanding productivity was made possible by his unique way of taking notes. But don't be discouraged from your school days when taking notes felt like a chore. Lumen's note-taking is a completely different beast. It could be compared to collecting, but instead of coins or stamps, Lumen collected ideas, slowly and deliberately. In a nutshell, here's what Lumen did. He had a giant box of 3x5 cards. The moment he encountered an interesting idea or a concept, for example while reading something, he would write that on a separate paper card. One card equals one atomic idea. As Lumen wrote his card, he almost never copied something in the same way it was phrased in the source, always making the information pass through the filter of his own thinking and using his own words to express it. After the card was created came the crucial step. Lumen assigned a unique ID to each card and then went through his entire box, looking at other cards that he had previously collected and asked the question, to which of these old ideas does the new one relate in some way? He then wrote down the IDs to indicate which cards relate to which. In short, he created a dense network of ideas, which were linked with each other by associations. If you are not used to this, they could seem like a completely outrageous idea, but Lumen and other creative people have proved that it works. Today I'll talk about three pillars behind the Zettelkast which make it work, and that is fluid structure, interlinking and externalization. One of the key strengths of Zettelkasten is that it's not handicapped by the artificial structure you impose on it. Let me elaborate on that. Most of other note-taking solutions are top-down, in the sense that you first come up with a hierarchy, a backbone for a future system, and then you start to add content to the pre-existing backbone. That approach is flawed, because as the number of nodes grows, the system becomes too messy and too complicated to deal with. For example, suppose you have initially created folders for your classes, like maths, neuroscience and psychology. Several weeks later you read an interesting paper on mathematical principles of neuronal information processing and its applications to social psychology. You write the notes on it and you are faced with a dilemma, because you don't know which folder to use. It's problems like these that makes the use of the system cumbersome. 
and makes the users eventually abandon their system altogether. On the contrary, Zettelkasten is bottom-up. You start with a hodgepodge of nodes, each indicating an idea, and you link them with each other. There are no folders, nothing, but as you keep adding more and more nodes into the system, into this primary soup, you can see the emergent structure. You'll see that some nodes form clusters, like they become the central hubs around which many other ideas and concepts revolve, so they must be crucial. And over time, the system becomes more structured, despite the initial thought that it will just turn into a confusing hairball of nodes. In a way, you don't ponder which backbone would be the best to organize your knowledge. You allow the information to slowly show you over time which backbone would be optimal for this particular case. And then you know that this naturally born hierarchy would be the best and the most optimal one. Your Zettelkasten is also alive and breathing. Its structure evolves as you add more and more nodes. New clusters will appear, rendering certain ideas more crucial than they initially thought before. Other clusters might merge or dissolve altogether. The structure changes along with the content, and at every point in time it is most optimal to this particular state of your second brain. Suppose you give two people two identical sets of books, and you ask them to take notes on these books in a Zettelkasten fashion. When you return a few weeks later, you'll find two completely different Zettelkasten with two completely different structures. And that's because the way people build interconnections between their nodes is completely individual. Your sleep box is perfectly suited for the way your own mind organizes the ideas and processes the information. It's not just a second brain, it's your personal second brain with its own unique quirks and features that relate to your own unique way of thinking. That's why it feels so easy and natural to work with your title casting. It's because it's organized the way you think. Another big problem of conventional note-taking systems is that they don't encourage you to see the connections between different ideas. You are usually so immersed in one particular topic that you fail to see how it relates to other concepts and how it fits into the big picture. Zettelkasten, on the other hand, is purposefully designed to promote such unexpected encounters. When you have an opportunity to see the connections between different, seemingly unrelated, concepts and facts, it helps you to generate even more insightful ideas and to develop understandings of general principles. Abstraction is often frowned upon, but it's a powerful tool. Stripping ideas away from their original context and seeing them embedded into this giant network leads to the most exceptional insights and aha moments. The real magic of Zettelkasten lies in the interconnections of nodes, and the number of connections grows much faster than the number of nodes themselves. While other systems are only as powerful as the sum of their parts, Zettelkasten is more synergetic, it's more than the sum of its nodes, it's the connections between the nodes that matter. Zettelkasten forces you to take everything that's going on inside your head and put it on the paper. Paper in the general sense, you could use any typing software as well. And I mean everything. A good thought just popped into your head, write that down. Don't know how to explain a difficult concept that you think you only vaguely understand? Write that down, write that down! Such externalization of knowledge has several important benefits. Have you ever had an impression that you fully understand something, you have a firm grasp on it, but then you try to explain that to your friend and words, words just seem to roll around the tip of your tongue and you fail to convey your train of thought properly? Why is that? I mean, you know you understand this, or at least you surely feel you do. Our biological brains are quite imperfect machines. They are blind to their own imperfections the lack of knowledge, and until you externalize your thoughts, and that is, trying to explain something to others, or just writing something on a piece of paper, you can't make sure whether it's the illusion that your mind creates, the illusion of competence, or you actually, finally, understand something. This is what Richard Feynman routinely used in his famous Feynman technique. 
To make sure he understood something, Feynman would grab a piece of paper and a pencil and to pretend he was giving a lecture to the middle class students on the topic he wanted to understand, even if it was something as complicated as quantum electrodynamics. But you don't have to be Feynman to pull that off. Just relate the main point in your own words. Such externalization is a clever workaround for this particular quirk of the brain. It's a way to reconnect with your thoughts and to understand what's actually going on inside your head. This allows your brain to detect blind spots in its understanding. It helps you to crystallize your ideas from amorphous vague mess into something concrete. Not to mention that retelling something also makes the corresponding neuronal patterns emboss harder into the memory, so it's easier to recall that later. Have you ever been faced with a blank piece of paper, dreading to start writing? You try to brainstorm, try to come up with at least a rough draft, but nothing decent comes out of your head. This is a common problem. Students and academic writers face it all the time. It's hard to come up with something great in a couple of days, yet alone a few hours. Now imagine you had a time machine, and instead of those few days, you actually have the previous months to write that piece. This is what Zettelkasten does for you. It turns the process of writing from something you view as the final stage, the most painful part of the process, to the essential component of all of your working routine. Because if writing accompanied all of your previous work, you will never be faced with a blank paper ever again. You'd have all your ideas and thoughts already laid down in front of you, even connected to each other. All you need to do is to work your way through this network of ideas, pick the ones that relate to the topic you want to write about, and arrange them in a linear order. And in a few minutes, you'll have a rough draft ready. It's as simple as that. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, press the like button, share it with your friends, and stay tuned for more interesting stuff coming up. Goodbye, and thanks for the interesting knowledge.